Well, hey guys, it's Dr. Drake 63 here. I want to thank you for joining me today. And I uh, thought I'd do something just a little bit different today. Uh, thanks to my friends at uh, Max Guns and Ammo in Savage, Minnesota, I'm going to bring to you four different nickel-plated firearms, kind of on the bling-bling side. But I'd like you to go ahead and enjoy these with me. I'm not going to say too much about them, but I hope that uh, you'll enjoy taking a look at them. We've got a couple Colt 1911s and uh, uh, a couple Smith & Wessons. These are all nickel-plated. Uh, they're beautiful guns. Uh, I'd, I'd be remiss to probably want to shoot them too much, uh, but they are lookers. And every once in a while, hey, that's the fun part of our firearms is just stuff that looks cool or looks attractive or unique or whatever. So I hope you'll enjoy this and uh, let's watch. First up, we're going to look at this beautiful Colt 1911 uh, in 38 Super. I think uh, Samuel Jackson in... Uh, Pulp Fiction, although this one's a little bit fancier than his. Just looking at this engraving and these gold inlays, uh, just absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Uh, you can see here where I'm pointing out the feet of uh, of the pony extend down to the to the uh, frame from the slide, and um, you know this thing is just gorgeous. It's got some uh, some nice sights on it. Um, it's got that extended beaver tail. These these uh, grips on this thing are just absolutely gorgeous. Everything about this uh, is is kind of uh, mouth watering, actually. Uh, but this is a beautiful firearm. This is a, a limited edition. Five hundred of these are made, and this is a new firearm. Next up is uh, this uh, beautiful Smith & Wesson Model 36. I am told this is from 1963. Uh, I have not verified that on the serial number, uh, but this is uh, this is in 38 Special. And um, I have also been told that this is an unfired firearm. Now, uh, you hear that claim a lot. It's hard to tell, but you can see it's got the, the classic pin barrel. Uh, the finish on this is beautiful as well as well uh, as well as the stocks. And uh, taking a closer look in this, at this, looking in the cylinders and so forth, it sure doesn't look like it's been fired uh, other than a proof shot. Now we've got a, a Smith & Wesson Model 39-2. This is one of the, the earliest uh, semi-autos that Smith & Wesson made. Uh, and I don't have a date on this. I was told it was 1950s vintage. And uh, also a beautiful looking firearm. Taking a look here, uh, just the detail that goes into those stocks is amazing. And uh, we're going to take a look here, too. You can see this is a single stack magazine for 9mm. And uh, these weren't real super popular just due to capacity uh, in terms of uh, law enforcement use. But this one right here is in beautiful condition. And uh, who knows how many rounds have been through it, but uh, just upon inspection, it doesn't look like anybody shot this one just too much. The last one we're going to look at is this uh, Colt Commander in 45 ACP. And uh, while the other one has those beautiful inlays on the slide and on the frame, uh, this one, uh, a little bit more plain Jane in beautiful condition. Uh, don't know the vintage on this one, but uh, you'll see in a minute why this might be my favorite out of the bunch. And uh, it's not because of, uh, of the grips, although those are cool. You know, the Commander's not as reliable as the full-size 1911s, uh, but were popular for carry because of their smaller size. Uh, and uh, again, just a beautiful pony there on the grips. Those are uh, uh, mother of pearl type uh, or imitation pearl. Not really sure what you'd call that. It looks like mother of pearl. But uh, the feature I love best about this gun is this beautiful Colt insignia on the top. And it also has this uh, beautiful version of the dancing pony. And uh, I just think that is absolutely breathtaking. 
Beautiful firearm, there's no doubt about it. I want to thank, uh, again, my friends at Max Guns and Ammo for letting me show these to you today. This is DR Drake saying so long.